can hear how much quicker that turns the engine over. Hi guys, so if you saw my previous video, you will know I've been struggling to get the van started in the colder weather. Since doing what I did in my previous video, cleaning up all the connections and stuff, it's made such a big difference, but it's still taking a few turns to get it started. After speaking to a few people online, I've realised that my battery is a bit too small for the old DI engine. It's the battery that came with the van. The battery size didn't really occur to me until we started having this colder weather. I mean, I've only had the van since December last year and it was final through last winter so maybe the battery deteriorated a little bit over that time but anyway so I've got a treat for the old girl today all right let's take the old battery out tell you what it's nice and easy now I've changed everything to 13 millimeter So here we go, I treated the old girl to this nice new UASA battery, comes with a five year guarantee. Um, and as you can see, 740 cold cranking amps, and this one only has 500, 80 amp hour, this one was only 53, 12, they're both 12 volt batteries. But this one is can deliver much more current in the cold weather. So let's go and put that on. It's a little bit more of a squeeze, but that's got to be a good thing, surely. Now, I've recently learned that Vaseline's supposed to be quite good for battery terminals. stop the corrosion. Got a little bit of Vaseline. I'm just going to try that just to protect the terminals. So I've just fitted a nice new battery. I want to keep that topped up now um, when I'm not driving the van. It's a camper van so it does sit for a little bit of time. Um, so I've got this solar panel here and I'm going to connect this up. It's only a small solar panel. I think it puts out 2.4 watt solar charger. It's got an OBD plug on it, so I'm going to cut that off. Obviously, it's no good for this fan. <laughs> and then just going to go straight onto the battery. Yeah. We're still in tier 4 lockdown at the moment, so won't be using this for a while, unfortunately. Um, so I need to keep my battery topped up. So the solar panel has this plug-in connector, so I'm going to solder this onto the cable and run this through the bulkhead and then I can just unplug the solar panel when I don't need it or move it out of the way quite easily. Um, so I'm going to solder this on here. I always try and use solder where I can, um, where I can't I use crimped connections but those scotch blocks or whatever you call them they are an absolute nightmare don't use them, they just cause problems all the time. So I'm just going to solder this connection on here. I've got my heat shrink up up there.
can be fed through in, into the cab now. I've just fed this connector through the bulkhead. Right, so this is a cable coming through the bulkhead. And this is a plug for the solar panel. I can just plug those in now. And that can just live underneath there. solar panel here and that can just sit there. It does have some plungers on to stick it to the windscreen but they're not very good. Um, they might be better when things start warming up. The rubber's a bit a bit stiff. But you can see it's flashing away here so it's charging. It's literally just to keep it topped up when I'm not driving it for a period of time. Yeah. Neat to tie this up. It's really not a very big solar panel connected to here, so it doesn't need a regulator. It's just I've put it on here to compensate for any natural discharge from the battery when I'm not using it. I think it's a good idea to just check the alternator while I'm here, just make sure that's charging the battery. So I'll go start the engine and we can see what voltage the alternator is putting out. and I've definitely noticed the difference um, with it starting in the colder weather it starts much quicker the starter motor turns over much quicker I've still got to do the leak off mod that'll be a video in the future it's quite a simple one stay tuned and hopefully I'll get these videos made in the meantime take care stay safe and um, thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe cheers